I'm kind of at the point now where I look at the movement and I'm so far removed from it. It's like looking down from heaven, you know, and just being like, what is going on? Um, so I kind of, and they've kind of totally rejected me as well, like in the past. And um, I got put through a load of shit from Tommy and his supporters and everyone last year. And uh, they kind of forgave me for my non-crimes at some point because of this panodrama thing that I did. But um, they kind of just keep getting really annoyed because they think that I'm on one fence, you know, one side of the fence one day and another the other day. And they think that me and Avi Yemeni have had a big falling out. But I've never been a fan of Avi Yemeni. I've never, I think I've only ever met him once, but I didn't even say hello to him and he didn't say hello to me. Uh, he just kind of looked up at me because he's very short. Um, but I'm not a big fan of these, uh, the people that took over once I was booted out of the Tommy movement. I just feel that a lot of them are attention seekers that are prone to violence. I mean, Danny Tom is actually okay, but he did uh, he did try and kidnap someone back in the day. So that's a bit weird. And then Avi Yemeni, I think, has just gotten in trouble for hitting, like, throwing a uh, chopping board at his wife or something. And I know that there's a lot of cocaine going on behind the scenes that I just think that is thousands of pounds of um, potentially the money that, you know, people are giving you because they're living in areas which have been so affected by mass immigration that anyone talking about it, they see as a hero. And then you're just going to go and waste all of that up your nose. So, um, so yeah, like there's, I've ha had problems with the movement for a long time, but I'm kind of at the point of, I don't really care anymore about trying to keep quiet for the sake of things or be diplomatic because it's the people who follow these movements that are giving their money. It's, we should be worried about them. We shouldn't be worried about the, uh, the celebs, of the movement like but what are the, what are we getting out of it a couple right. of stupid videos so so the money and these these what what the, the money is not coming from Ezra Levant and from elsewhere the money that they're sort of spending on coke that is coming from like working class people's donations yeah that i think is large, how it works i think a large portion of it is yeah and it's like you could make the argument that well People are just paying them because they want to show support. So it's up to them whatever they spend their money on. But at the same time, it's the idea of wasting money, you know, that I really don't like. Do we need to have these big rallies? Do we need to have a big bus? 